Well, you guys, two teams who believe they can earn a playoff spot should be an intense one this afternoon. A win for Detroit would jump them over Pittsburgh and into the second wild card spot. Then they would need a Washington loss to New Jersey to stay there. And Sherratt will put it in deep. Put the pressure on as well, but it's Owen Power for Buffalo. Might have, might have needed Joe Poser and Drapes to start this game with the Red Wings. That pass stolen away by Lucas Raymond. Raymond in, shoots, scores! Lucas Raymond, 53 seconds in! Raymond on the turnover, reads it through the neutral zone. Soft pass by Buffalo, a wicked wrist shot. I mean a wicked wrist shot. Quinn tries to go through the middle of the ice, getting a little speed right there, but this one here fools the goal. Four of these Red Wings stepped up when Dylan Larkin was out, has continued with Larkin back in. Now it's Buffalo pressuring again. The shot from Yoki, are you? Got up, and I think it dropped down into the jersey almost. Joe Valeno working forward along the end boards. Now with Daniel Sprong, will help it out. Goss to spare. Nice little shimmy on Rusek. Now moves it down low. Centering feed defended by the stick blade of Lukanen. Yeah, we should mention that Gergensen's not in the lineup for the Buffalo Sabres. He's at the hotel, not feeling well. Sprong with a shot and another tough stop there for Lukanen. Got it with the left leg pad and then covers up. Kept in the zone, though. Benson down. Elevated by... Sider, Yoki Haru gets there, high slot, snaps one, glanced off the blocker of Lyon. As Raymond steps in wide on Byron. Raymond down for Perron. David Perron, used the boards, Petrie moves it across. And they set it up again, that time for Larkin, getting a piece was Lucan in. Rattles around for Larkin, the pass though, stolen away by Jack Quinn. His pass though to Benson was on his way off the ice. And it's Patrick Kane trying to get through the D. Patrick Kane! Scores! Patrick Kane stayed with it and tucked it around Lukanen. Too early for Detroit. And in this play right here, he doesn't notice it. He goes for one sweep of the puck right there, but look who hunts it down. And I thought that Kane was going to get at least checked. Stick on puck right there. Yoki Haru decided to go high. And you can see Byram can't lift his stick low. And goal scorers make these things happen. And somehow this puck sneaks underneath the goaltender's pad. Well, amazing. He splits the D. 19th goal of the season for Patrick Kane. 470th of his career. Hayden Krebs. That can't put on goal. And Alex Lyon makes sure nothing will come from that. Never quite got to the goal. Now it's a backhand try from Thompson that sails wide. Bryson. On the boards, Paterko, rimming it around. Clifton coming in on Comp, took a hit, and the puck kept in the zone by Greenway. Greenway, to the blue line, Clifton. That's the kind of shift that Don Granato was talking about with Paige Thompson right there. Walker save for Lyon off the try from Peyton Krebs. Krebs right at the blue line. Left side, Greenway, Krebs driving, they get it to the net, and it's kicked away by Lyon, and then chipped out of the zone by Kopp. Yoki Haru off for cross-checking, as the Red Wings work it around the offensive zone on the power play. Red Wings power play, nearly 23% success rate, ninth best in the league, and they get it to Larkin, and he scores! Dylan Larkin, a power play goal! Three, nothing Detroit! Over the glove. Perron on the half board. The power play goes through 57. He goes to the goal line. Raymond with a quick shot. I love that. Hash marks the goal line. Goal line to slot. One time play. This is a well executed power play right here by Detroit. In one quick motion, a righty to a lefty, and in the net in one quick move. That's incredible. You look at the quick passes, the one touch passing. Raymond knowing before he gets that puck. Up that puck first to Brinkett. Turns away from Robinson. Kane and Byram tie up again. Rimmed around the boards. Edvinson holds the zone. That shot sailed through just wide. That didn't miss by much. Oh, Petrie's shot produced a rebound off Lukanen. And Tyson Jost off the boards and out of the zone. Yeah, little things you notice, Brennan. Detroit, they're just communicating really well. If there's a question who's going to the puck. They're communicating along the boards to try to make sure they maintain possession. Yeah, a lot of energy, too, here, Jennifer, on the bench. You can see the, the attention to detail here for the Wings. And a 3-0 lead. Valeno... Now barreled over by Byram from behind. No penalty on the play. Valeno wants to throw him down, and he will with Bowen Byram. 
Joe Valeno, some rapid punches there on Byron. He's trying to get himself in a better spot. Answers with a few of his own. Valeno threw the hit. West McCoy, the referee, was right there. Did not penalize him. Joe Valeno said he's going to take matters into his own hands. What has already been an electric start for the Detroit Red Wings and their fans here at Little Caesars Arena. Even more to cheer about here in the opening 10. Well, that had some stamina. That had some stamina. That is the first thing that hit the boards. Long conversation before they drop the gloves. Fourth fight for Byron, as I mentioned, first in NHL career for Joe Valeno. That looked like they've been there before, though. They're just two for their last 20. Thompson leaves it. Dahlin works it over for Paterka. His shot swallowed up. No rebound from Alex Lyon. Leaves it out for Dahlin. Wrist shot. Knocked down. Loose puck in front. Pulled free. Benson couldn't shoot it. Thompson scores! On the power play, Tage Thompson gets the Buffalo Sabres back into the hockey game. Yeah, give Benson a lot of credit, though. He hunted down that puck. You see that Tage Thompson slides down into a better spot, tucks in front of the net. Here's Benson there. I thought he was going to jam it on the net, but he spun and turned the other way. And instead of a jam play, he feeds Thompson. And Thompson, oh my, drives this right between the legs. Jennifer, good screen there by Tuck. It's a great screen, right? Starts early with a double screen by Benson and Tuck. And then that one is just on the shot. There is Darlene to the net. They never made it there. Gostas Bear trying to defend it. Knocked over by Paterka. Darlene for Tuck at the top. Now Thompson. Tage Thompson steps. Shoots wide. Right in front for Tuck. And a save from Lyon. Cousins and Petrie still getting separated back in the Detroit zone. A couple of whacks towards each other. They look like they want to dance. Meanwhile, the puck behind the net. Now the gloves are off. Petrie and Cousins. Second fight of the first period. And Cousins has Petrie off balance in the takedown. Well, he mentioned he's been the most physical forward for Buffalo. Banger now he's got a fight on the card. Still just 21 years old. As the Red Wings with a 3-1 lead over the Buffalo Sabres. Detroit, the win puts them into a playoff spot. At least for a few hours, we'll have to wait out the Washington. Fabry juggled that puck, took a hit from Darlene, riding the ledge. Mata had to adjust to keep it in with the skates, then give it away. And here's Tate Thompson behind the defense. Thompson on Alex Lyon. Went to the backhand, and Lyon able to hold his ground, but he lost his blocker. Or his glove hand, I should say. Still has the blocker. Doesn't have a glove right now. He'll go to the corner and get it. Meanwhile, it's Fabry up ice. Goss Despair charging to join. Can't do anything with that path. Oh, what a sack from Lukanen! Tage Thompson breakaway. Watch the stick work right there of the goaltender Lyon with pressure line by Gosses Bear. And then at the other end in a one-time fashion, Sprung is absolutely robbed. Kane. He never paints himself into a corner. He never puts himself in a bad spot, Kane. Larkin tried to come off the boards, hit the skate of the referee. Final minute of the period is a save made. Rebound out in front and Lukanen able to reach down and cover it. Uh, in this third, this is a huge 20 minutes for both sides. For Buffalo, find their speed, find their dynamic offense, and for Detroit, be smart, be responsible, and sound defensively. Now it's Edmondson it's going away by Peyton Krebs. Krebs to Skinner and Raymond knocked the stick out of his hand as he was shooting that puck, and now Raymond the other way with Larkin. Dylan Larkin slows up on the right side, got the pass through Raymond from a tough angle denied by Lukanen. Tuck loves this one down. Sabres from out high. That shot wide. It almost popped out for Thompson off the end wall. H. Thompson has the only Buffalo goal in the game. Free is Tuck and Thompson on the doorstep. Can't tap at home. Shots are 10-3 Buffalo here in the third period. Patrick Kane and Robbie Fabry up ahead. Kane waits. Kane shoots. Look at it. Makes the save and he covers up. He's right now. And here he is here on this rush here. He's got Fabry. Fabry did a great job of using his speed and going far. So that gave Kane an option. Paterka to the top for Darlene. Wrist shot. Too many bodies. Tuck with the turnaround. It's stuck to the pad of Alex Lyon. Pop free. Yoki Haru stuck. Tuck again, and it's pushed wide. Is Alex Lyon, and, and look at the quality of players, too. Tuck's got a wraparound play. He goes low. Great save. There's where the battle starts. Greenway and Sherratt, they're pounding away. At each other. They still got in on the shot blocks, Panger. 14 third period shot blocks for Detroit. And this guy was the leader in that department. Most siders and just fires the puck down. Red Wings ride their hot start to a 3-1 win over the Buffalo 
the Sabres and for the moment, the Red Wings occupy the final wild card spot in the Eastern Conference.